G'day! I'm Warren Logie and this is Brisbane. Everybody loves lamingtons, and if you don't, you should probably see a health professional. An Australian favourite and worldwide culinary delight, the humble lamington was born in Brisbane, which should come as no surprise as we created sand crab lasagna and donut time. But why we all love to boast about how we invented the lamington, none of us really know the true story. So today, I'm going to tell you the incredible story of how the first lamington was made in this building right behind me. At the turn of the century, Queensland was ruled by Lord Lamington, a posh man from England that was worried that the Federation of Australia would turn the nation into a communist paradise. When not being terrified of the country he was living in, Lord Lamington loved to entertain. His French chef, and I'm going to pronounce it terribly, Armand Galland, created all sorts of cakes and delicacies to impress visiting dignitaries to our state. On one occasion, Lord Lamington held an impromptu afternoon tea and forgot to tell the chef. The cupboards were all empty due to the Lord's famous sleep eating and only a two week old stale cake and a vat of chocolate sauce was left in the house. In a moment of brilliance, or sheer clumsiness, the stale cake fell into the vat, making essentially a chocolate covered sponge. He cut the sponge into rectangular prisms to disguise the obvious cake shape and came up with a working title, Baby Stale Cakes. Warren, you ask me, what about the coconut? This part was a complete accident, as the Brisbane Coconut Factory reached its 10th birthday and was due for demolition to avoid heritage listing. The poorly planned explosion sent a storm of coconut snow over the Brisbane city area, and the flakes stuck to the sponge cake before it reached the afternoon tea. The treat was an instant success, and in honour of the chef that created it, it was named the Lamington, after Lord Lamington, his employer. Typical. The Lamington we know and love today follows the same process of putting good use to stale cakes nationwide. They say you are what you eat, and who wouldn't want to be a Lamington? Hey, I'm even growing my own coconut! At least that's what I'd like it to be. I'm Warren Logie, and this was Brisbane.